Now we will move on to the outer bearing shell. Use the draw in tool and draw in the shell. Then attach the bevel gear wheel again. Reattach the holding device as well. Next, check the calculated spacer disc. Use a digital caliper to measure the thickness. If the values match, place the disc on the bevel gear wheel. Insert the ball roller bearing as well. This is followed by the old articulated flange. Push this on until the collar nut can also be screwed on. Also attach the holding device. Once again, support the holding device with a suitable tool. Now use a torque wrench. Tighten the collar nut to 200 Newton meters. Then you can remove the holding wrench again. Now turn the drive gear wheel five rotations to the right on the collar nut. Then use a torque gauge to determine the friction value. Compare this with the set point. The value must be between 1.85 and 3.94 Newton meters. Important, if the measured value was outside the tolerance range, then the entire process has to be repeated. Next, fit the holder and remove the collar nut. Then you can remove the holder again. After this, attach the puller. Now you have to press on the gasket. To prevent any leaks, fit a new articulated flange and the holder. Tighten the collar nut. Then you have to lock the collar nut with the bevel gear wheel. To do this, use a hammer and a tapered punch. Now you need the spreading tool to press the rear axle housing far enough apart to allow you to insert the differential. This is followed by the spacer discs. Ensure that the thinner disc is inserted on the crown wheel side. Insert the end brackets as well. Bolt them in place with the correct torque. Then check the tooth flank clearance. Use a dial gauge for this. Set the gauge to zero and then measure the values. These values must lie between a minimum of 0.13 millimeters and a maximum of 0.18 millimeters. The flank clearance is set correctly in our case. Now we will continue with the assembly. Reattach the oil splash plate. Replace the gasket. Then you need to screw in the 10 fastening screws. Tighten the screws diagonally. Now your work is done.